Hello everyone. Myself Murunalini Guru. Recently I am working as an assistant professor at Kekewa College of Agricultural Biotechnology, Nasi. In this video, we will see how to use the protein database that is PFAM database. Before to going towards what are the steps in protein family databases, we should know uh, in short what is actually PFAM database. The PFAM is a database of protein families. It is related to only proteins that uh, include uh, their annotations and multiple sequences alignment generated using HMM. And the most uh, recent version of uh, PFAM uh, that is 32.0 and uh, which was released in September 2018 and it contained near about thousands of families. In this uh, database, we can study the protein families that means uh, which proteins are related to with each other so let's start this tutorial just pfam okay so this is a home page of uh, pfam here we can see the recent version is 32.0 and uh, it is released in september 2018 which contains near about uh, 17,929 entries. Okay, for this, we need uh, any accession ID of any particular protein which we want to study the family. And uh, in other databases, uh, we need uh, some FASTA formats, but in this, we need an accession ID which can retrieve from a Uniprot sequence or uh, any other PDBs, uh, PDB like. Uh, databases of protein so here we are using a pdb database okay this is only for the accession id if you don't know any particularly then how can you use any database to identify the id then here just enter any to study this particular globin we need the accession id then click on view file and just this is the entry id just copy that entry id and open the pfam home page and just paste here okay now we ne don't need any of this window okay. then once it is uh, copy paste here then click on go here you can find a particular example how to identify this so this is our summary result which include the experimental type that means it is from x-ray diffraction method this uh, result is then there are different databases link of a PDB or scope or catch whatever these are the related to protein databases now we want here just click on the sequences which shows near about uh, different 12 sequences are present uh, which are present in pdb and uniprot which are related to our search query that is pfam family here we can see then click on this Now here we can see this is a informative part of a particular that query or a protein family search. Here the structural information, then uh, this is structure, then uh, these are the helix packing or evolutionary information. This is all about a Wikipedia information. Also here we can see there are uh, this particular protein or query is present near about a 3270 spaces so in this session we will uh, study that uh, this protein is particularly present in how many spaces okay this is our pfam results okay here we can see these are the roots 
दैट मीन्स और यू कैरियोट मेटल्स हुआ और कोरिया और मैमस हेयर वी कैन सी द रूट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर दैट प्रोटीन्स एंड द रिजल्ट प्रडिक्शन ऑफ दिस इमेज इज हाउ टू यूज दिस लाइक हेयर दिस इज अ कलर असाइनमेंट विच इज गिवन फॉर अवर रिजल्ट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन और प्रडिक्शन इन दिस वी कैन सी फॉर पर्पल कलर और पिंकिश कलर इट इज फॉर यू कैरल दैन मीन्स अवर क्यूरी और अवर पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन और आई डी विच हैव टू बी सर्च वॉट आर दिट्स फैमिली देन वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन यू कैरट्स एंड अनादर वन इज समवॉट इन बैक्टेरिया ऑल्सो बट दिस इज अबसेंट इन पर्टिकुलरली वायरसेस और एनी अदर सिक्वेंसेस और एनी अर्शे और एनी अदर अनकलासिफाइड सिक्वेंसेस दिस इज अबसेंट सो ऑन दिस रिजल्ट वी कैन स्टडी दैट पर्टिकुलर दिस प्रोटीन is uh, present in eukaryotes and bacteria some of bacteria also so from uh, this uh, database is what is its use actually if you want to study that our protein is present in how many species and how many organism or genera then you can use this database so that you can find the family of that protein that means how many organisms are included in that particular uh, protein also you can search some information like how many sequences or spaces like this okay that means there is any particular class like here this is a lilopsida class here is no class then chordata phylum is chordata then kingdom in metazoa okay here we can see the results okay this is kingdom then phylum then class order of that particular species and uh, family then uh, genus and uh, species so likewise this is a root which is given from kingdom to species and particularly organisms in which that particular protein is present so this this is a best result okay so this uh, tree or this uh, diagrammatic representation you can see how many species uh, in how many organism this particular protein is present if you search a particularly any protein which is only present in bacteria then this whole circle is indicated in this uh, color so this is a short tutorial or short informative part how to use the prefam database and what is its conclusion of uh, result and how to predict its result so thank you